I found out that a Fibonacci spiral went through all three Giza pyramids because the Fibonacci numbers are incredible, built on the golden ratio. I knew that as an explorer, I had to go there. Even though it's infinite, you never get to the origin. Practically, of course, you can. So I'm going to take you with me on my maiden voyage so you can lay your eyes on this special mango grove for the first time, the same time that I did. Here you are. Here's the mango grove. Here. They just must keep this. I wonder if they use it for fox hunting or something. It's just so pristine. It's love it in there. That's where the zero point is though. This mysterious closed off mang mango grove. There's the boys from the Sphinx Club. No Alright. We're looking at the Giza Plateau. And uh, so here are the three great pyramids. You know, here's Khufu, Khafre, Menkara. All right. And then here's uh, basically part of the city of Cairo, but this is actually Giza. It's called Giza all the way up to the Nile River. And so, uh, you know, we usually when we think of Giza, we think of the Giza Plateau where the pyramids are. But this whole place is Giza, which is a subsection of Cairo. Okay. So there is a Fibonacci spiral. It goes through all three of these pyramids and the middle satellite of Menkara. So it goes through the center of four pyramids. Chances of that, of having four points through which a Fibonacci spiral goes, very, very small. So this had to be planned. So the, the Fibonacci spiral, uh, I've been to it a number of times. It's mystical every time. you got to come with me to it in Egypt. I don't make it part of the tours, but I take special people there. So there's, you know, a quick rough draw of the Fibonacci spiral, right? Okay, so I said on Instagram one time, Say, there's got to be one going the other way. Does anybody understand this? And so, you know, that's how I became friends with Will Wire. He goes, yeah, yeah, there is one. You know, he, he showed that, uh, you know, there is a corresponding Fibonacci spiral over there. Okay, so look, You've got two sides here. Now, to me, there's so much to learn at Giza. There's so many secrets that have been left there. To me, this means theory and practice. Okay, you got this drawing board over here, and this whole Fibonacci spiral and its amazing nature is where there are no people. So this is a drawing board out here, you know? This is theory. This is where you can kind of blue sky and, you know, theorize and try and figure things out. It's theory, all right? But over here, whatever you learn in theory, you're going to apply it in the real world. Unless you're just going to live in some dreamland, some esoteric world where mind is all there is. Well, mind is not all there is. There are bodies all around us. There's a somatic world, a real world. And theory has to work where people actually are, okay? So, you know, this is practice over here. And you're going to have to put into practice the things you believe. Ultimately, every one of us does this. We live out the things that we believe. Okay? So, you, you should be, to me, very careful in what you practice because there's other human beings around you. So, theory and practice. So, I think the Great Pyramid, the Giza Complex, is encoding great secrets and among them, the right theory to live the right way. If you've watched my videos, you've seen that I've said this. There is a right way, and the pyramid says that. And it's not what tends to be the, the current conceit. You know, all roads are correct. They are not, at least according to the Great Pyramid. Theory and practice. You want the right theory, so you have the right practice. So... Will Wire and I got together so we could have the right theory for the right practice to find the Fibonacci origin. So come sit in with us. Four, nine, five, three. Yeah, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to input that into this. So we're going to go to, so just read it off to me. We're going to go to, what's the north? North, 29. So said 29. Yeah. So they turn it into a percentage. So here's how you do that. So we're going by close by where, where we visually inspected from Google Earth that these 
that the origin of the Fibonacci spiral that goes through the three Giza pyramids is the beginning point, which is infinity. There's a, you know, the actual Fibonacci spiral that goes through the three pyramids of Giza. We That's believe it. it's right on this path. It's right on this path. That's so we're just yards away from yeah. it. We, we don't have the exact GPS points, but we know we're going to be close, and we're just wondering if there'll be some mark or indication or void or, you know, black hole or something. <laughs> So I wonder if, if this is it, Will, in the sense of you have two, you know, the origin, when you think of a graph, you're graphing in high school, it's always the connection of the X and Y axis. You've got an axis here. Look at the bird. And the bird, the moment I said that, that bird flew to that. That's amazing. And look where it landed. That That's bird just flew to you. They never do that. Maybe it's got a nest there. Look at this. Look at it. It's coming right at us. Look at this. Now tell me that's not a sign. When have you ever seen those birds fly to you? Tell me this is not amazing. This, this has got to be near the origin. I'm going to take a reading of where they are right now. They're leading us to the origin of something. I've never seen anything like this. The bird acting like that. Readings I have, the first one is where the lines come together. The second is where you sort of felt the birds. And look at this triangulating. There's three birds. Look, one, two, three. I'm in the center of the triangle. Look, one, two, three. It's a triangle. A triangle. The three birds are sitting in a triangle. Tell me there's not something special going on here right now. See yeah. that? It's wide over here and narrow there. I closed my eyes for a second and I saw like the spiral of the galaxy. Really? You got that on This is like, come on. No, I, I so feel it. So, I so, really so what it's saying, here's what this says to me. Again, this is only symbol, like that's not the gateway to heaven. Although Larry Hunter, the guy that talked to me about this, who says he has the keystone to the building that is in here, because he was here when he's got the goose being, you know, he's got the keystone. He does say that it is a gateway. You know, he's got more esoteric beliefs than I do about, you know, forces and stuff. He does say it's a gateway like to another realm. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I came here looking to see if like something like that happened, like an angel flies down or something, but but I'm also, Hello. in my own way, you know, a real scientist. I want to see what is here. So to me, this is, is this symbolizes exactly what the Fibonacci origin symbolizes. It symbolizes eternity. So this is a symbol. The Fibonacci spiral is a symbol. All of it's a symbol. And the fact of the energy you're feeling, that the providence of this thing being put here is saying, the infinite power is with us right now. Like the Alpha and Omega guideless. That, that, that it's all intertwined. The concept of origin, God yeah. is the author, yeah, God is the origin, he's the father, he's the great beginning. Oh my God, this is so constant. Like, Hello, how are you? Oh, it's really, really... Yeah, so, okay, I'm gonna give this guy my... It's so funny, that story I told about Mother Teresa, Yeah. I put 20, uh, uh, 50, 200, no, I put 200 Egyptian pounds in front of this man. And he started playing with the picture of the scribe. He didn't like grab it. Oh yeah, give me that. He does almost, almost doesn't know what it is. I mean, seriously. He was looking at, he was pointing, he said, are you trying to show me the scribe that's on there? Like anybody else in this country knows when you hand money to somebody, everybody in this country knows what that means. This guy, he's acting like, a, he's like Brother Teresa. How much, is, how much does my book cost? You know, he looks at the picture of the scribe. If that isn't a symbol, I don't know what is. I mean, seriously, how many people in this country that work small jobs like him, they have small income, and you, you put money in front of them, are going to look at the picture of the scribe and start talking about that? 99.9% .9 of people are going to take that and say, thank you. Right? Am I right? Yeah. I don't make the Fibonacci origin part of any of my tours because you, you can't franchise what goes on here. There's a number of uh, sort of, you know, factors. But if you're watching this video and you end up going with me to Egypt in April, I will take you there if you ask me. It's a private trip. I'd like it, It's magic every time we go. It's different every time. So please ask me and go with me.